Hi, MG Pai. Hey, nice talking to you guys. Uh, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. You know, I'm enjoying my time at yeah. the developer meetup. You know, I couldn't, I can't even anticipate getting 60 people, that two developers all in one room. So, you know, I think the team did a really wonderful job. So I'm pretty hyped up to be here and uh, hearing about all sorts of projects, getting me really excited about Lithium. So that's cool, right? Because you have a, a full day, right? Like you travel from far? Yes, I, I traveled from uh, Boston. So it's about a nine hour. I took a direct flight. So very long flight. My legs got a bit cramped up, but you know, definitely worth it. Cool. And today you had a presentation that is going to be available yes. online. Yes. Uh, but like the idea of this interview is to have a short overview of your project. Like I know it's a bit of a repetition, but that's a shorter format. Uh, so if you could tell us like, first, very briefly, like your itinerary that brought you to Alephium, like in crypto in general, but then to Alephium. Yeah, sure. So I started out uh, you know, a while back in crypto, maybe 2019, 2020, and I started out as a miner. So back then I was, um, I was really into ele electronics. So I, I built my own PCs and all, and I was into gaming. So when I built my own PC, I really needed a GPU. And uh, I asked my dad to buy it, but it was, you know, pretty expensive compared to that relative to the, all the other stuff we had to buy. So I was like, I did research to see how I could save money. Then I found that you can mine crypto using your GPU to, um, you know, earn back money. So I, I convinced my dad to buy it for me back then. And he got me a GPU that, and I started mining through nice hash. And then I got, I got really deep into it because I was so curious, how, how am I getting free money from nothing, right? I just have this run and I'm just getting money in my pockets, paying this GPU off. That's insane. So I kept digging into it more. And back then I was curious about electronics, but then this got me more into coding because I wanted to work with blockchain and, uh, you know, make my own transactions and have my own projects. So I got curious and curious. So I went from, um, you know, mining Ethereum and that was the only thing or the most profitable thing mining. So I researched Ethereum, I looked into Bitcoin. Then uh, I found out that, um, you know, Ethereum was very expensive. So I was like, oh, I can't really mess with this. And the problem was I wanted to really get my, my project out there, right? On Ethereum, there's so much competition out there. You know, you're not going to be heard and it doesn't really have much of a community. You know, you can't like just message uh, Vitalik Reader and be like, hey, can you help me get this contract work? You can't do that. So um, I, f I looked around. And I found a smaller blockchain called Ergo. And I started, you know, doing developer work on that. And, uh, you know, eventually a few years later through the Ergo community, I found out about Elephium and I found the community to be very similar. Developers are just as nice. They're very willing to help you and you can ask them any question. They're going to ask for a very a quick summary of my journey. Cool. So tell us a bit about your project. Yeah. So right now I, uh, I started building on Elephium a few months back during the Hi, the first hackathon and uh, I had a project called the uh, Phoenix Finance on uh, other blockchains and I decided to um, I decided it would be nice to implement something I already know how it works so I, I could genuinely learn how the inside of LFEM works and how the protocol works so that's why I decided to implement like a fun ga little game just as an experiment, experiment nothing too serious so I decided to uh, implement that and within two weeks you know I was able to go from zero to a fully functional end-to-end -end project that was deployed to mainnet. That's cool. So you did that during the hackathon, right? Yes. I like, uh, so you've been building for, so you, what, what is the roadmap for the, for your project? Yeah. So, you know, the roadmap right now, so like I said, it's nothing too serious. So right now, you know, I got like a good, uh, good taste of how the lithium is in the, and the community and next up. And so this project is really only for the native ALF token mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, some derivative uh, token that the, the game makes. And now I, I can apply this to other native tokens, any native tokens. So this game is like a Dijon game. So, you know, I think meme coins would love this, you know, to get some attention going and to incentivize people to use their meme coins. So I would like to open it up to other communities and be like, hey, you can use my uh, website to automatically deploy your own version of this game. And then uh, it is good for your community because you get like nice engagement and uh, you incentivize people not to sell your coin. Like, did you, so you've been here before and you will now post rules upgrade. Yes. Uh, do you, did you experiment with it on testnet already? Like, is it going to change something in the way you, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, I, yeah, definitely looked into it. I read all the you know, patch notes of what exactly Roan does. 
and um, I really love it because I think the huge part of it is the speed. It makes the both the development experience and the user experience like super smooth. Um, I think people, it's definitely something noticeable, you know, going from almost a minute block time to like you know sixteen seconds, a huge difference. And uh, you know, furthermore, they Roan added some like really special like development tools, like I believe maps and structs and all, and all these really it's just programming jargon to make um, building easier. Okay, that's cool. I guess. I, I, it's it's a lot, it's 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 a great pleasure to hear it because like we we've been working for a while on this, uh, so it's great to see that it actually works. Like especially from non devs for like us, like we we understand the idea, but we can't like experiment it. Um, I wanted to ask you like so today you were in the room. You actually did a, a great presentation, like very precise and fairly technical, uh, in front of sixty builders that you've been mingling with since uh, yesterday. So what's your feel? about the building ecosystem, builders ecosystem, and the emerging DeFi segment of which you're part uh, on Alephium. What's your, what, what's your takeaway from today? Yeah, sure. So, you know, I was very happy with the crowd here. You know, everyone seemed super interested during presentations. I barely saw anyone on their phone. Everyone was very focused and to see, you know, what everyone else is doing. And, um, you know, it makes me very happy for Alephium. The developer community is super active. And it's really cool projects. And we're, uh, it looks like we're getting three or four more competing DEXs, you know, all with different, different protocols. And everyone here is trying their best not to step on anyone's toes and build their own unique idea. And that's super helpful because it pushes the chain further along in, in general through the crypto space because you get more uh, utility from Lefium itself. And uh, investors really see what it's truly capable of. So yeah, I'm super... I, I'm super happy about. I'm very. I have a very positive sentiment on how the Lithium's future is going to be, and I'm like really excited for the next few months to see these projects slowly creeping out from a uh, testnet and development and going to mainnet. And I can't wait for everyone to see what it's about. That's really good. So I have one last question. Yeah. So we're two years down the line. Every token has implemented a, a type of photo as a function, as a primitive, let's say. Uh, what else do you do? Do you expand horizontally, like to add more games, uh, or do you create something new, or do you go for like spank? <laughs> well, what's your what's your idea? Do you already have an idea? Yeah. So um, you're talking about what expanding? Yeah. No. If if your plan that you explain over the short term, basically, the to allow other tokens to actually do the same, then yes, yes, possible with that. Um, then what do you do? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. So we're talking about even more the future. So, you know, I like to, I, you know, Phoenix Finance, I named it that because I want it to be a financial platform. So I want to start off with the ga the current game I only have, so HODL Elf, and then, you know, other HODL token, you know, whatever it wants to be. Then, you know, I might explore some other you know, financial tooling. Uh, you know, recently on Ergo, I built a multi-sig uh, digital or server implementation of multi-sig. So it's just like a Genesis safe on Ethereum. And I really want to go cross chain, so I want to build this on Lithium uh, and maybe other blockchains. And uh, I want to, I really want to go the cross chain route and make some nice financial tooling, you know, as part of Phoenix Finance. So you know, I might do, uh, you know, like a server multi sig, just like Genesis Safe or copy of that, because you know, multi sig is really nice for like teams or DAOs or anyone who wants to manage assets in a fair and a secure manner. And uh, furthermore. Um, I have a few uh, few friends and colleagues that you know research uh, algorithmic stable coins and oracles. You know, if I have the time in the future, I would love to implement their like papers on this, or at least like gather a group of developers to work with me on this. I think uh, algorithmic stable coins, when done properly, you know, according to papers and proofs and research, it can be a very powerful thing. Like, you don't need any because you don't need any collateral. So you know that could be on the plate for the future as part of as part of Phoenix Finance's brand. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.